Hi everyone, this is Johnny O'Nose, and I'm playing Subnautica, the power nap update. In the last episode, we found ourselves a huge wreck to explore, and we're going to continue doing that. Uh, we could use some food as well. There we go. Here's some spade fish. I normally get my food and water up to a certain point before the episode, so you don't have to watch me do this, but... Watch me hunt. I shall hunt for spade fish. Should probably use three of them. There we go. So we got another door to. I think there was another door to uh, open up on the wreck. Now that we're fed, kind of be pretty good. Take our time with it. Yeah, this is what the Cyclops is for. Is really, really awesome exploration of. Of places and having a like basically a mobile base. And I've always used the Cyclops, even with the uh, power concerns from before. Just so much nicer just to be able to do what you need to do. I don't know why I keep getting turned around when I need to be saving some time here underwater. Don't have a lot of time. Yeah, I was gonna say I could. I can actually make some. Let's do that. I'm gonna make some tanks. Because going back and forth is starting to get kind of annoying. And we do have some titanium. And I think we have some quartz. One quartz. Uh, let's see if we have some more. Did it get any more? Yes, it did. Alright, we can make one more tank. That's not bad. It's not bad at all. Glass. And then make an extra tank. It's not going to be a super awesome tank, but uh, that's 30 more air. It's not too bad. I move a little bit slower, but it doesn't matter when you're uh, looking through wrecks all that much. Okay. There we go. Through here, through here. Through here, get dizzy. Ugh. Oh, wait a second. Oh, that's right. Okay, so the nuclear reactor fragment. Yeah, this is so nice that they, they put fragments in these spaces now. These wrecks. If I want more uh, titanium, I can just. Okay, that looks like the end of the road for this wreck. Let's just double check to see if we didn't miss anything. There was a room that um, we didn't go through yet, so let's see. <laughs> Sorry. I'll try to smooth out my mouse movements, but yeah. Okay, there was a room here that we didn't check. Wow, this is like, here, have all the frag- oh, a bed? Nice. Bed one. You know, that's what this whole uh, awesome update's all about, is uh, apparently sleeping. It'd be really nice if you can put like a uh, like a picture frame. Oh, wall shelves. Whoa. This is new to me, folks. I didn't know you can get wall shelves. Can you, you put stuff on there? Alright, now I'm now keeping my eye out for other stuff. Like, is this something? No. Alright, stop feeling sick to my stomach. Let's get back on the Cyclops. So yeah, we got the nuclear reactor. That's, that's pretty awesome. Like, we don't have to go that much deeper. Alright, let's go pick up the sea moth and get the flock out of here. And it was at 300 depth. Okay, instead of just spinning around, I'm just going to divide it. Where is it? Park here, Moran. Where is our Cyclops? Okay, it's too... yeah, it's just uh, about 90 degrees to the right. See it as we go right here. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Here we are. Let's go get the moth. 
told you we wouldn't forget about you. We missed you. Alright, we are now in a position where we can either make a new cool base that I'm not ready for, I don't think. But um, I think we're going to be in resource gathering mode instead. Because uh, to upgrade the compensators for both these vehicles is quite a bit of effort. The other thing is, if we find that um, that sea treader again, we should um. Whoa, excuse me. Oh, oh, nope. Oh. <laughs> Every time, if we find that sea treader again, we should uh, camp it for a little bit and um, collect some much-needed lithium and or um, copper. Get lead from it too, which is needed for the. Um, which is needed for the nuclear power plant. All right, which way we should we go? Where is our base? Yeah, I really should pick up the uh, the compass. We'll do that when we get back. I'll, I'll build myself a compass. Now let's just make sure I'm going the right direction. Okay, this way. There's also a really cool biome that splits the Grand Reef off from the rest. It's like this, um, I think this is it right here actually. It's like kind of dunes but kind of not. It tends to have like a ton of quartz in it. Yeah, this is it here. So let's spend a little time uh, collecting some stuff in here. Just so we can get a, a leg up on the uh, huge amounts of resource gathering we're going to need to do soon. Pick that up. Now if I'm not finding an, enough quartz to really keep our interest, we got a fragment over here. I think this might be a thermal filtration machine. I don't even have that one yet. Okay, cool. Can get that. I can get that. Lots of quartz. Yeah, this is basically what the late game looks like all the time. It's just collecting massive amounts of resources. Got that extra tank there, so it's nice. Nice little boost in the. Uh, Air. Oh yeah, there's the promised land right there. Alright, just gotta keep an eye on my air, so I don't get too excited. Alright, we discovered this technology. Acquired. There's some mercury ore here too. Um, I'm gonna pick it up just to see if anything unlocks. Oh, where is it? It has evaded me. Alright, there it is. Alright, nothing yet. We'd expect it to be kind of uh, part of the temperature gauge thing. Which we will build. We will build the compass. <laughs> and the temperature gauge one just feels kind of useless to me. Oh, some lithium. Nice. Caution. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Oh my. There's some quartz back there too. There was a ton of it in that cave system. We'll go there next. But yeah, after we're done with the compensators, uh, we'll get to the point where we can just start um, exploration time, which is exploration and uh, resource gathering. Which is where the uh, the fun is at in the game. It may not be that fun to watch, so I would I would understand if uh, 
what I've given to you at this point has uh, jump-started your capabilities in the game. But, um, oh yeah. Let's go see all the cool new spots, you know, do some resource gathering next to the Aurora, pick up all those signals so that um, we can find all the neat spots. Yeah. There's not much of an end game yet in this game. But all the stuff they have planned looks really cool. Like, really cool, and <laughs> I'm just. I think I'm gonna poop myself on the first time I see an emperor or the, the dragon emperor thing. Thing looked gigantic, and it moved quickly too, so that, that combination of stuff in underwater, deep underwater, is enough for me to uh, soil myself pretty much. Alright, picking up. Oh, we're done with the inventory. This is what the Cyclops is for. Oh, we have, and we can we can make some more lockers. So this, this will just kind of be like a little maintenance episode. You can see some of the stuff that I do, um, stuff I do kind of off camera, so you don't have to watch it. But um, at this point, it's using all the tools and stuff that we've picked up, all the vehicles we picked up. So um, I'll just do one of these episodes here, so you can see what's going on. Alright, let's make some glass. And you can see I placed the lockers. That should be enough for now. So I can get another five on this spot, just like I do in the base. So I get 10 lockers total with the way I do this. I don't know if it's the best. I haven't mathematically determined how much volume I'm, I'm filling based off of... Yeah, you get my idea. That's the way I do it. So if you like it, do it. If you don't, don't do it. No problem. Looks like we're now out of titanium, so yeah. <laughs> I'm going to have to start collecting a lot more lithium as well. We got ourselves a nice stash of quartz. And uh, I think the, uh, the outcroppings that are here are limestone. So this is basically like this area is perfect for like when you're just trying to get started a little bit in terms of uh, getting that base together. Oh, basalt actually. Hmm. Let me see if I can get into the, the sandy area. Let's see if these are still basalt. So I remember them. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Yeah, so it's a great little place to pick up um, copper and titanium. It gives you a lot of this limestone outcropping. There's another one, and even more quartz. More titanium, that's another, uh, another, uh, what's, let's see, yeah, it's just, uh, two more lockers, I think. So, um, once we start shifting to the resource gathering mode of the game, um, I'm going to start listing out what resources we gather a lot of in this episode. So that way um, you may not have to watch the whole episode, you can just kind of look at the description and then that way you can go, oh he's gathering a lot of blood kelp, uh, I want to watch that. So um, I'm going to start listing out what resources we focus on in the description. So you guys can determine what you want to watch. What am I, what's going on here? What am I missing? Oh, am I missing glass? Yeah, I'm missing glass. Okie dokie. Alright, so I need, uh, that should be enough for one more locker. And I always place the first locker on the corner here, as close as I can. Alright, that should be good enough for now. Got plenty of storage space. I'll just, um, just throw them into the boxes for now. And then when I'm off camera, I will uh, go and um, do all the inventory management needed. 
but uh, soon we'll have our own like little little farm here, and uh, this will provide us. It's at 81% now, but as soon as it's at 100%, it's going to start growing those fruits. So every time we're hungry, we just you know get to the tree and eat as much as we can. All right. So what am I doing now? Uh, let's head back home. Where is the indicator for home? Oh, we're on the right way. Yeah, so if you're looking for some more of the basic materials in, in a good good sized chunk. Oh, they also have these cool plants that uh, light up. So if you're looking to uh, decorate your home, those are some cool things to add. Though I don't think they glow when uh, you yourself has placed it. So uh, it's kind of kind of sad. Kind of sad, but you know we just give it a shot, and maybe they'll be able to add the ability for them to glow too in the future. There's definitely a, a lighting problem in the game right now. It'd be really nice to be able to um, light up your home, especially if you have it. Uh, oh yeah, this is the other area. This is kind of the part of the same biome, but you'll be able to find tons and tons of quartz and tons and tons of limestone outcroppings in this area, and and basically it's just like. Go to the Grand Reef from your escape pod, and uh, you'll see this little this little biome right in the middle of the two biomes that just has tons of just like your general components that you need for almost everything. It also in the sandy area there's also uh, some uh, salvage as well, some scraps of metal. So I'm going to go ahead and stop this episode here. Um, when we reconvene, um, I'll be taking a look at what, are, what resources we have and what we don't have. And um, if we determine we need something, I'm going to drive to that location and then start the next episode. That way there's less of this traveling stuff. But um, thanks so much for watching. Please uh, like and subscribe if you're enjoying the video. Uh, you can ask questions. We're, we're now at a point where we got all the tools, we have all the vehicles. Um, we're not at a point yet where we can go as deep as we want, but uh, we'll be there soon. So if you have any requests, like, oh, I want to see the lava caves, or, uh, you know, I want to see the, um, you know, the big kush, kush mushroom, uh, please throw it on the comments and I'll, I'll accommodate your requests. All right, so thanks for watching. This is Johnny Onos playing Subnautica.